Okay, I guess I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, so this is the EK Quantum Vector. This is the, um, the back plate for uh, 3090. Um, this is the XC3. Um, I went ahead and put the front plate on this. Uh, as you can see, uh, it seems that the back plate is kind of needed. Um, I, I could have gone for a normal black back plate, but instead I decided to go with one of these uh, active cooling back plates. So this is kind of neat where this can actually kind of uh, sandwich between the uh, the card. The card is actually in between two two uh, coolers. So I'm going to open this up, kind of see what the contents are and kind of show you what's in it. Um, So, let's open, see what's in the box. There's standard stuff going on here. Okay, and that looks like that is it comes with a back plate. It's like that. Pretty neat. Kind of a screw install guide. A little tool. Allen wrenches and screws and instructions that you grab online. Let's see. Just scan the QR code. There is a lot of thermal pads in here. More than I expected, so I'm not sure what all these are used for. But I will look online and we will find out. Looks like there's two sizes. My guess would be one is a one millimeter and the other one is a two millimeter thickness. Uh, I can confirm that later. Well, there you have it. that goes on to the back this card just like that and I believe this is removed there's three screws up here and this gets screwed into place I'm going to move these three that are on the top here. right off. A little bit of water. Okay. Let's see if I can dry the insides off. There's a little gasket here. Two gaskets. Just 
one. That's two. So you can kind of see how that's removed. Okay, so I um, put the thermal pads on. Um, these are one millimeter pads right here, uh, covering the VRAM. Um, the center area is two millimeter and the side is 1.5 millimeter. Um, ideally, this kind of goes on like that. Uh, decided to cover the VRAM more directly instead of putting it on the plates and then hoping that it covers the, um, the video RAM. Okay, the next part of the instruction is to remove the terminal plate. That, you unscrew these. Right here. There's the plate. Looks like there are gaskets already there in place. Okay, and it looks like I will need to remove this screw. And not this screw, but this screw. There's also these nylon washers. I'm pulling those away. Then this screw here. screw this screw and then this screw here this one. Okay. Then I place this top and make sure that the gaskets covers the right location.
and I use these same screws. in and then they provide eight millimeter screws that is used here 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 Looks like um, to get all the screws in, had to actually really press pretty pretty hard to kind of uh, make the the pads squish down. Um, so that took a little bit more effort than I expected, or a lot more force than I expected. Uh, but then I was able to kind of get everything put together uh, just like that. Okay, and then this is the final setup. Got two angled connectors here. Um, I think that's it. I'm gonna put this into my machine and give it a try. Okay, here's my uh, part set up. Uh, looks pretty cool. The issue is the back plate actually uh, extends out quite a bit uh, than, than I guess the no normal plates would. So right there on the motherboard, I had to remove this heat sink that was uh, kind of blocking the way. Um, technically, I would um, probably have this card in the second slot because I have another card that I would be using in the primary slot. But while I'm messing around with things and uh, playing around with the water cooling, I wanted it to be in this first slot so I can get the uh, X16 speed on the PCIe.